Today I'm going to talk about how to import modules and where to find them. Okay, so the easiest place to find them is you go to a place called pypy.org. As you can see it there. And you can search for modules. In this case, I'm going to search for pretty table and import it and then show you how to use it. So the easiest way to do it is to use pip install and then you run that from your terminal and it will go out connect to the internet and it will install pretty table okay then you can import the package here another way you can do it and this is just for pycharm you can go to file and you can go down to settings then you can go down to your project and you can click on the Python interpreter and then you can go add and you can type in here pretty table and that should find it and there it is pretty table and then just say install package okay so now that we've imported pretty table let me explain how to use it and what it is Pretty table is a nice way to format data in a nice ASCII representation. Let me show you with some examples. Okay, so as you can see now, I am adding one row at a time. So I've declared a table, the table one, and method called field names, where you pass in the field names or the field headings column headings if you want to call them that in a list okay and then I use the add row method okay and I'll pass in the data also in a list one row at a time so it adds a couple of rows so let's run that and there you go you get a nice ASCII representation of your data now you can also display this in different kinds of formats like JSON CSV and HTML okay so let me run that okay so you can see the first one was HTML you can see it displays it in HTML then displays it in JSON and then in what you have seen before just a normal CSV output okay so now I'm going to show you how to add all the rows at once okay so here you can see I've defined a table 2 and I'm using the same method again field names and I'm passing in a list of column headers okay then I use the add rows method not add row as above add rows and all I'm doing is I'm passing in a list of lists. There's a list of lists for each row. So instead of having to do it add row one row at a time, you can just pass in a list of lists. And it will add all the rows. Okay, let me run that. And you get the same, same display. Okay, so now you can also add one column at a time. So you can you can add an entire column, one column at a time. Okay, so here you can see I've defined a table three, and now you can see I'm using the add column method. Okay, right. So I'm first going to add the column called city name and all its values in a list. All right. Then I'm going to add the second column area and all its values in a list and so on population and all the values and then annual rainfall and all the values okay always in a list of values and let's run that now I'm going to show you the most useful thing about pretty table you can read data straight from a CSV file into a table and then display it however you want
Okay, so you get the same output as you would expect. It just reads the data from the file into a table for variable and then displays it. Okay, so now I'm going to also show you that you can also format your data in a certain way. So if you want to left align it, right align it, or center align it. Okay, the R is for right align. So now you can see everything is moved over to the right. Okay, um, left align would be L. You can see everything's moved over to the left. And then C for center align. Okay, guys, that's all for today's tutorial. If you'd like to go and explore more about Pretty Table, I suggest you go to that URL and you will find more information there on all the things you can do with Pretty Table. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have a great day. Cheers.